Kerrigan, and I live in Cedar City, Utah. I teach middle school and high school orchestra. Um, this is my going to be my what, 17th year as a teacher and 14th year in the district. Wow. Um, I discovered Born Off during the summer shutdown of 2020, and I was able to do a couple of five-day workshops and three-day workshops, and I was like, oh, wow, that's amazing. It makes so much sense on how to present things. And I mean, I was very successful using a different method book for 11 years of my string teaching. And it was, and my students played well and they understood things pretty well. But there were always some gaps in what they understood, particularly like <laughs> outside of the D and the A string. You know, there was always a little bit of a gap. Fast, 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 slow. I'm Kristen Kirby. I teach in South Carolina uh, at a middle school, uh, six through eighth grades. My first experience with Born Off was at a workshop with Debbie Lyle in Charlottesville um, three years ago. Using the Born Off approach has changed my teaching. Um, the sound I get from my students is incredible. Um, I never realized beginners could make sound that big. They hit you with a wall of sound, so to speak. <laughs> as the coordinator of projects in Latin America. David did a workshop in San Jose, in La Carpio, at CIFIS, and I went to the, to the workshop. Uh, I fell in love with Born Off, and it was like love at first sight kind of thing. And then she invited me to come to the States to do the workshop in 2018. So I did that workshop, I got certified as a born of teacher level one, and then I started uh, to work on the translation of the materials, the, trans the translation of the primer to Spanish. And then I did a residence in 2020 with Debbie for three months. I, I had lessons with her and I was doing some office work with her and assisting her in her classes and observing her, her classes with her students. I'm Danielle Dolfanian. I teach fourth grade beginners only in North Syracuse, New York, so near Syracuse. I had found Bornoff in Albuquerque at ASTA and had heard the name Bornoff, but never really knew much about it. I didn't study it, had never really heard about it in college or anything. And so I went to the deep dive and kind of watched everyone and thought, wow, there's, there's a lot to this. Um, it was a lot of what I was already doing with my beginners, but in a much more organized fashion, and it made a lot of sense. And just listening to the people through the workshop, um, that I, when I was there, just their tone, how it improved over five hours, it made me want to know more and how I could learn more. I teach grades six through 12. I'm assistant, I assist another teacher. And I was totally unaware of Born Off uh, uh, when I went there to, to work with her. She, however, had been to several Born Off workshops and introduced me to it. And I thought, wow, this is crazy. You know, when she first introduced me, she said, my beginners, our beginners are going to be playing on all four strings with the bow right from the get go. And I thought that's insane. And then when I saw it in practice, I was very impressed. Um, either way is fine, but the Russian bow bowl will get you quicker results with the beginners. So I teach at the middle school and high school levels, and I also run a private studio where I um, utilize Suzuki and fiddle repertoire. 
So I met Debbie at an ASTA conference about four years ago, I would think. Uh, and I didn't even go to her session. I just saw her booth and it was so colorful and it was so exciting and she had this bright big smile on her face. And she and Sarah Maria and all of her assistants there, I mean, spoke to me at length, really making sure that when I walked away, I had a good clear idea of what Warnoff could offer to me if I chose to explore it further. So I did get the primer. And even without taking a session with Debbie, having her and her faculty just explain to me how to do it, I was able to bring it to my classroom. I had more questions, of course. So I reached out to Debbie, and Debbie immediately was like, I'm gonna call you. <laughs> and we spoke on the phone you know, for as long as I needed, and then I was able to continue to reach out to her without any training and just keep come back and back and back. And I I'm just amazed at how passionate and how committed she is, not to making sure everyone does born off, but that if you want to use it, that she is going to be there to make sure that it works for you. And if it's not working, she's gonna make sure to check in with you, to give you other strategies, um, and, and, and show you different exercises. But coming back um, this week, I mean, I'm hooked. I am so excited to bornify my strings and come back on another instrument. But also, I feel confident leaving this workshop and doing what I did this week on cello on bass, right? Because I went through the process on this, I can now go through the same process on another instrument. I'm also thinking how cool it would be for my students to, or some of my more advanced students, to experience you know, all of it on one instrument and then just for fun, try it out on another instrument. I think it's kind of a language that speaks the fingerings, we're all using the fingerings. And if we know how to use one set of fingerings, it doesn't matter which instrument you're on. A string is a string and your fingers are your fingers and the spatial awareness of the tonal patterns is all you need for beautiful intonation. Excellent concentration, really nice work. Some of you started saying and with me. That is very helpful. You could say this is subdivision if you want to. I usually I'm Jess Amir, I teach sixth through eighth grade orchestra in Wichita, Kansas. It's great for a homogenous classroom. It's great for a heterogeneous classroom. You can really use this system because it is just learning the technique of how the instrument operates as the precursor to learning material. So you're learning your vocab kinesthetically on the instrument as a kid before you're expected to read what those pitches are and perform them. The speed and equity of Boronov is hard to beat. Um, the alignment for me with the Born Off approach of let's get these kids navigating their fingerboard so that they can move faster. I totally understand that. I've been doing that for a long time and trying to get, I mean, that's not what method books are going to have you do, but that's what I've been doing. That's what other excellent teachers do all the time is just to get kids comfortable accessing the whole instrument so that there's not psychological blocks about, oh, I can't play on my C string. I haven't played on my C string before the end of their first year. And that's, it's like, no, <laughs> we need you to be comfortable. And that, and there's, there are, there's, I mean, talk about kids that have stage fright, kids that have performance anxiety. Like the only way to do what we can as teachers to help combat that is to make them as comfortable as possible across the whole instrument. And this does that. My name is Jacob Hermson, and I'm a viola player, and um, I live in North Carolina and work in North Carolina. I have my own private string studio, and I give workshops and clinics at um, schools and universities um, for violin to viola and just the viola to promote the viola as the instrument. And I'm using Bornoff in my private teaching um, to, for all my students. It's attractive to me in a sense that it gives the students a lot of flexibility in their playing. The fact that it just starts with the open string cycle, um, that they become very um, flexible with using open strings in all kinds of ways with, when it comes to different bow strokes, different bowings, slurs, uh, spiccato, detache, um, staccato, on such a short, in such a short amount of time. Um, and then to have already abilities, which it technically only would achieve after a couple of years of playing. Um, I think that's one of the main advantages f when, when I um, work with this approach.
It's very, very efficient because it's even with a full group of, of students, it's like um, they see each other playing, like they see each other when they're playing and they're like, oh, maybe I should be on this part of the bow or maybe I should be here or maybe I should do this because they, it's also learning by, by seeing and doing um, and to be in one group and to hear that wall of sound um, when you're all playing your open strings and like that's also really motivating for the students too rather than one-on-one -on -one and having to go through these, these motions by, by yourself. It's, uh, it's always much more stimulating to just be in a whole group. Using all strings at the same time or like immediately explore the instrument um, and to see like also uh, with the, the finger patterns and then using harmonics in such a short amount of time that you're like already shifting and like learning all these techniques which you otherwise would probably learn much later on. And that gives the students a lot of um, flexibility and a great setup to whenever, whatever they come across in their repertoire later. I'm Joy Yu, Joy Yu Lee. I am a cellist, um, board certified music therapist. I am a fellow of the Association of Guided Imagery and Music, a music breathing practitioner, a narrative um, therapist. It's a lot of different things. I wear many hats. However, the most important thing is um, what I do is really incorporating live music and using the power of music to build connection, bring people together in a lot of different spaces. And music therapy allows me to do that. Psychotherapy allows me to do that. Change is hard. We like things to be predictable. We like things to have control. But at the same time, how can we expand the tolerance of that uncomfortableness. And I'm bouncing right underneath the grip, right underneath my fingers. We're really trying to follow the dream of Dr. Bornoff to be a foundation for the advancement of string education, right? Like that's really the goal. How can we help others continue to be inventive? Really the skill development is core because if you, if your students can play, then you can decide to take them in whichever road you want, right? Like I do a lot of jazz with my orchestras. I always have. Took them to jazz band festivals, right, as a string orchestra. Um, and because the Bornoff approach really builds flexibility through all those different finger patterns for the left hand and then all the bowing skills in the right hand, um, you know, they're set up well to choose their own path. The sun shines bright, oh happy is the sun.